today we will be doing a review of the 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback. It comes with a 1.5 litre turbo engine and a 6 speed manual transmission. Quite frankly, these manual transmission are sorely lacking in our landscape these days for such performance cars. This car here is made in UK in the same factory as the 2018 Type R's and it also shares the same shape and chassis as the Type R's. The colour of this car is crystal black pearl and there are a total of seven colours available for this model. They are sonic grey pearl, gunmetal, red, blue, pearl white and silver. All colours are also available on the new 2018 Type R's except for silver. The pearl white will however be replaced by Honda Signature Championship White for the Type R. Here we have LED headlights with daytime running lights. Right now, you will see that the DRLs are really bright for good visibility during the day. This is how it looks with the position lights on. If you notice, right here at the side of the bumper, there is also another amber side marker which turns on with the lights. Now, this is with the headlights on and high beam. And at the bottom, we have the LED fog lights. Now, signal lights are a nice touch right above all the LED lights. This car being a UK spec, it also has headlamp washers for when you need to give the lens a good cleanse. On the bumper, we have four front proximity or parking sensors. And you will notice a radar plate on the front bumper, which is for the Honda Sensing and adaptive cruise control. Uh, however, for our dear OCD friends, please do not get too caught up with a different looking left and right of the bumper's air dam. We also have the front spoiler. That really changes the look of the bumper. As this is a sports model, the grille also has a piano black border for a slicker look. With the key fob, we are also able to remotely control the folding mirrors. This is especially useful for Singapore's small parking lots and you need to squeeze through between yours and another car who has parked too close. Here, we have side skirts running down both sides of the car, which are accented in black. In this case, it is a little obscured as the car body is also the same colour as the side skirts. But if you look closely, you can see that they stick out quite a bit. In the rear half of the car, we have really dark factory tinted privacy glass. This will keep all the heat and UV rays out and also provide for a more comfortable experience for rear seats passengers. On the roof, you will notice a rear roof spoiler, also a shark fin style antenna. And further down on the hatch, there is yet another spoiler to complete the sporty look. Now, on the rear bumper, we have got four rear proximity sensors. And in my opinion, the most eye-catching part of the car, which is the center mounted exhaust. I'm sure you would have had a good listen to the exhaust note at the front of this video. This is the rear boot with really large boot space. We have a total of 770 liters of boot space with the seats down. We have also got a rear tonneau cover, which allows us to get a lot of privacy in the boot. And up here, we've also got another tonneau cover that, so that nobody can look down into what you have in the boot. Now, over to the wheels. We have got two 35-45 R17 tyres. These are really, really large compared to the tyre of the Malaysian models where they only have got two 1.5 tyres. And we've also got 17 by 8 inch width rims with 5 by 1143 PCD. So that will make it really easy for us to buy aftermarket wheels if we need to. On the sides, we also have a black trim that runs along the whole length of the car instead of the usual anchor chrome. Now let's take a look at the interior. On the door panel, we have tweeters located here specifically for the rear passengers and the regular speakers are at the bottom. And if you look at the leg room of this car, it's actually pretty decent for a car in its class. Let us now take a look at the interior in the front. First thing you'll notice when you open the doors are the three aluminium sports pedal. And in the center console, we've got one HDMI port. We've got 
one USB output, which is a 1.5 amp, and also a 12 volt power outlet. On the seat, we've got a little bit of carbon fiber trim down the middle of the seat, and we've also got electric lumbar control so that you get a little bit more back support. And on the dashboard, we've got a whole lot of buttons here uh, for traction control, for headlight washer, and lane departure warning. And the regular buttons on the door for folding mirror and power windows. Alright, let us switch on the car and take a look at the instrument cluster. You'll notice that everything is in red and there's a fancy full startup sequence. Alright, let's start up the engine. Okay, let us now switch on the aircon. If you press the climate button and then you actually turn the aircon on. And you can actually have different temperatures for both both um, driver and passengers. So you can see the temperatures here. Uh, and here, you can see that it's a manual gear, manual gearbox, a manual transmission. It's a six-speed transmission. And they've got a bunch of buttons here, which is for the auto start-stop control. It actually has a brake hold button. So if you're stuck at the lights, you don't have to step on the brakes. It will stop the car for you. It's got an electronic parking brake. Yep, there's no handbrake lever here. And in the center console, we've got quite cool cup holder. They actually give you two cup holders, which you can configure however way you like them. Like this, you get one, or you can actually flip, flip it around, and then you've got another one like that. And in here, in the center console, hidden at the back, there's another USB outlet, which gives you one amp. It's good for charging your phones or iPod. Alright, here on the dashboard, we've got some kind of soft touch material. We've got carbon fiber trim on the dashboard. And here in the glove compartment, it's quite big. Ah, it's got dampers in it. Uh, okay, up here on the headliner, we've got the sun visor. It's got lights for the passenger. And also, for the driver, it's got a mirror with lights. Here, we have the latest Honda Earth Dreams engine. It is a 1.5 litre with a turbocharger. Horsepower is rated at 182 PS at 5,500 RPM and it has 240 Newton meters of torque from 1,900 to 5,000 RPM. With that broad torque band, it means that the car will keep accelerating linearly all the way to the red line, making for a really fun car to drive. Free economy is also really good. From Honda specifications, it can do a combined mileage of 17.2 kilometers per litre. Well, having said all that, what I really wish for is for this engine to be in this car though. Thanks for watching.